Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number three, pusher replacement and restocking. As an operator of the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine, there will be times when you will need to remove, clean, and replace pusher assemblies. You will also be required to restock the machine. This television training tape will give you the information you will need to perform these tasks. To remove the pusher assembly, you must stop the machine just prior to the stock feeding portion of the machining cycle. Turn the hand wheel until the collet opens. Lift the stock feed tube and place it on its holder. Lift the feed latch from around the pusher bearing, remove the pusher assembly, and take it to a vise. Secure the feed tube in the vise. Apply just enough pressure to keep the tube from slipping while removing the feed fingers. Remember, the feed fingers have left-hand threads. Be sure the feed fingers are of the correct size. If not, they will not grip the stock properly. Lightly oil the threads of the feed fingers before replacing them. The stock guide bushing should also be removed and replaced at this time. Thoroughly clean the pusher. Check the pusher bearing to be sure it turns freely. Then lightly oil the pusher assembly. The pusher tube assembly can now be replaced in the spindle. Align the pusher key with the spindle. Be sure the feed tube latch snaps over the pusher bearing. New bars of stock should have both ends chamfered to keep any burrs from damaging the feed fingers. Wipe each bar to remove grease and dirt as you load it into the stock tube. The feed tube latch should be opened to allow you to load the bar stock. Bar stock can vary in size. Check each bar to be sure it is the correct size before loading it into the pusher. Place the turret at half index by releasing the turret locking lever. This is the number two turret locking lever. The double aught lever is located here. Drive the bar of stock into the feed fingers and out of the collet. Close the feed latch around the pusher bearing. Pull the feed tube back into position behind the pusher and close the covers. Manually advance the hand wheel to close the collet. Check to be sure the bar extends beyond the cutoff blade. Put the stock stop in line with the spindle. Start the spindle and after index, advance the turret using the hand operating lever to spot the end of the bar with the spot drill. Then engage the drive shaft. This completes your television training tape. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. Remember you must be able to perform all the tasks shown on this tape. When you have finished watching this tape, return to the operator booklet for your next step.